Well, hello, my favorite people. We're going to talk about algebra vocabulary today and the different vocabulary words we need to know throughout our algebra unit. So let's start with the three on the screen. We have expression, equation, and inequality. So we have to know the difference between expression, equation, and inequality. So an expression has an operation, right? So I can have like 8k, so that's 8 times the variable k, or 4x plus 5. But what I don't have is an equal sign. Expressions can be simplified, but they cannot be solved, right? They do not have equal signs. So an expression does not have an equal sign. No equal sign. An equation, well, then has an equal sign. So if I have 8k equals 64, that is an equation. 4x plus 5 equals 10. That is an equation. So equations have equal signs. With an inequality, inequality, right, not equal, not an equal relationship, inequality have inequality signs like 8k is greater than 70 or 4x plus 5 is less than or equal to negative 20, right? So inequalities have inequality signs greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Equations have equal signs and expressions do not have an equal sign and they don't have an inequality sign either, right? They're just kind of there hanging out. So expression, equation, inequality. Let's also talk about terms. Terms are like the pieces to the puzzle. So if we have 8x plus j minus 3b equals 45. Well, that is an equation, but the equation has terms. Terms are like the puzzle pieces. They're the things in between the signs. So like 8x would be a term. J is a term. Negative 3b is a term. 45 is a term. So the terms are the parts of the equation, expression, or inequality. So this equation has four terms, right? The pieces of the puzzle. If I have 4b and that's it, that's one term, right? 4b is the expression, but there's one term. Even though there's two pieces to that, they're being multiplied together, so they're kind of like one unit. That is a single number, right? One term. If I have 5j plus 3 minus 2m is greater than 17, right? I can circle my terms. 5j is one term. 3 is a term. Negative 2m is a term, and 17 is a term. So they would have four terms to that inequality. So terms are the pieces of the puzzle. Then we have this word, coefficient. Coefficient. Well, the word co means with, right? If I have a co-pilot, that's the person that sits next to the pilot on the plane. My co-workers are the other teachers that teach with us in the building, right? So co-pilot, co-workers, co means with, right? So when I have a variable, an unknown number that we represent with a letter, if I have that 8j plus 3b minus m, each of those have coefficients, right? For every variable, for every letter, you have to have a coefficient. So I look to the number next door. 8 is the coefficient here. 3 is the coefficient here. Uh-oh, but I don't have anything next to the m. If there's no number listed next to the m, there's just one of them, right? I have 1m. I don't need to write the 1 because 1m is silly, right? I have 1m or I have m. They mean the same thing. So we don't write the coefficient 1. The main thing to pay attention to is the sign in front of the coefficient. So there is no sign here in front of the 8, so I know that that's positive, right? It's implied that it's positive. With the 3, I have that plus sign, so I know that that's a positive 3 or plus a positive 3. 
But in front of the M, I have a negative sign. So my coefficient's not just one, it's negative one for that minus sign, right? So pay attention to the signs that you have. Make sure that you're writing whether the coefficient is positive or negative, right? Super important. And then again, variable. I kind of talked about variable when it comes to the coefficient. But the variable is the num is the letter, sorry, next to the coefficient, right? So if I have 8m plus b minus 7j, right, my variables for here, let me get a new color. Again, well, let me get my rainbow. There we go. There we go. You know I need the rainbow. So m is the co, I'm sorry, m is the variable. Ooh, I got my, lost my train of thought. B is the variable, J is the variable. So a variable is a letter or symbol that stands for an unknown number, right? That represents some number, I just don't know what it is quite yet. So variable is the letter. All right, so let's do a little practice with this equation. I know it's an equation because it has that equal sign. So I wanna know how many terms does the equation have? It has one, two, three, for five terms. So there's five terms to this equation. I know it's an equation because of that equal sign. There are one, two, three, four variables. The variables are x, k, b, and j. And for every variable, I have to have a coefficient. So eight is the coefficient. I have one K, so one is the coefficient. I have negative three or minus three B, and then I have plus five, so a positive five J. So five terms, four variables. For every variable, there has to be a coefficient. For every pilot, there has to be a co-pilot. Right, so make sure there's none listed, we know that it's one. And we're paying attention to the signs. Plus a number means that that is a positive number. Minus that number means really that's a negative number. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Love ya, bye.